We're adding one full apple to a blender along with two eggs. One, and here's two. So we have one apple, two eggs, a half cup of oats, some apple pie spice. You could also use cinnamon, whatever you have on hand. I just thought this would be good with the apple. We are already adding to this batter. We're making super easy and healthy apple pancakes. So now I'm adding about a teaspoon of vanilla, some sea salt, and last but not least, just a teaspoon of baking powder. So we are gonna blend this all together until smooth. So grab your blender here, and we are just gonna blend until everything is nice and combined. Okay, look at how perfectly that blended up. And there you have a super easy, healthy apple pancake batter. So now we're gonna move over to the stove and cook these up. So I have my stove on medium heat and I just added some butter to the pan. You could also use something like coconut oil or whatever you have on hand. And I'm just gonna take our batter and pour it right onto our pan. Oh, I think I'm, I don't, I don't want to overcrowd the pan. So I'm just going to start off with three and we'll probably have to do them in batches. So we'll just let these cook for a couple minutes. You'll be able to tell that they're ready to flip when the edges start bubbling a little bit. So we'll come back in a minute or two. So as you can see, there's tiny bubbles around the edges and you can kind of see the bubbles in the center and you can tell the edges are getting a little more cooked. So let's go ahead and flip these. I'm gonna do it super carefully. Woo, okay. Let's flip this one. And one more. All right, I'm proud of myself. Three for three. I feel like usually I mess up one with pancakes. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, so I'm just gonna transfer our pancakes to a plate. All right, look at how good those look. All right, so we have our super easy and healthy apple pancakes. They look and smell so good. I like to top mine with a little bit of butter and then also just some organic maple syrup. So I'm grabbing my fork here. I'm just gonna spread the butter a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my maple syrup and just drizzle that over top. All right, so let's try one of these out into it. Let's check out the texture. Look at how perfect that turned out. Wait, I'm so excited that these actually turned out perfect with the texture. They're so easy to make, minimal ingredients. So I love that these apple pancakes are gluten-free, they're dairy-free, they're made with simple and real ingredients, and they're so easy to make, like I said. But the most important thing is how they taste, so let's try them. Okay, I am not joking. These are amazing. You guys need to make these. They are delicious and they have the perfect little bit of apple flavor, which is amazing for fall. I'm obsessed. This might be my new go-to way to make pancakes.